Hey Aries, welcome to Shared Ascensions. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly reading. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. I do have personals open right now for those of you who are interested. You could also follow me on social media if you'd like, um, as well as Patreon. All that information is down below. Any information you need uh, should be down there. Okay, so Aries, um, let's go ahead and get started here for you. I'm doing a new spread here, Aries. It's like an element spread. I'm going over your air energy, your earth, your water, and your fire for the week, and then I'm going to be clarifying with runes, so let me know what you all think, but um, as always, I'm not reading in a straight line, so if the message is not resonating with you in the beginning, feel free to stick around or skip around, you may find something that does, okay. So you have the devil in reverse showing up for what's on your mind here. Um, there's something here where you're like, no more. I'm not going to do this anymore. Whether this is a habit and addiction. Addic addiction can mean anything, okay? Um, a habit and addiction. So something toxic that you're refusing to feed here. Um, but it mainly feels like... It if I had to label it one thing, it'd be an impulse, okay? There's something here that you're feeling really drawn to, uh, feeling urged to um, partake in. I don't know what this is, but I feel like that's that's on your mind heavily here is cutting that out. You've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse for communication, so this could definitely be an earth sign, more specifically a Capricorn if it's a, a love situation. But a lot of you, I do feel like it's, it's communication here um, that you're blocking, all right? Or you're just choosing to not send this out here. What else are we getting here? I'm going to be clarifying all this uh, with the runes. What's going on with um, Aries and their earth energy? Is there anything to ground in their earth energy? Four of Swords, gratitude, okay? So this is showing up in the position of what you need to ground here, what you need to get a grip on. Some of you, there needs to be some rest or a time out from certain energies here. Could involve a Pisces for some. You might have Jupiter and Libra, but you don't have to. But this uh, this showing up here in regards to what you need to ground, what you need to get a grip on. Like I said, I feel like this is gratitude for some of you. You could be journaling here, okay? Um, or you could uh, just be choosing to spend more time with the things that bring you joy, okay? The things that you are grateful for rather than spending time with this devil energy here. I feel like you're choosing to uh, shift your focus, shift your time, where you spend your time, where you spend your money for some. Um, others of you, I feel like there's really a need to prioritize rest this week. Physical rest. I don't know if you do um, a lot of like physical labor. I'm not sure, but fit physical rest. What's going on here? Maybe a chiropractor, but I'm not a doctor. Okay. Um, but I feel like there could be something here with the spine. Again, consult your doctor. I'm, I'm not a medical professional, so don't take that um, as advice, okay? <laughs> What's going on here with Aries and their stability this week? Okay, I'm getting to, wow, Knight of Wands reversed to the Five of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you guys experienced a period of burnout here with that night with that knight of wands in the reverse position, Sagittarius energy. Somebody here might have Mercury in Taurus, but I feel like some of you have been going through it financially. Money has not been coming in here. Money has not been looking the best. I feel like that's finally turning around. Okay, something's going to speed up here. Is how that feels to me. I think again, like I said, I feel like you've been experiencing burnout. So for some of you, like if you have a business or something of that nature, or uh, if you make your own hours, maybe you weren't really doing a whole lot. You burnt yourself out on that, and now you're saying, you know what, it's time. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So um, you could be coming up with a new routine here or a new schedule. Um, but I feel like it is changing things for you. There's more room for more money to come in. So what's going on with Aries and the water energy here? Aries and the water energy here. What's going on with them? Okay, some of you are wanting to end something here. Death is showing up as your emotions. Like you're feeling very... Um, I don't want to call it that, but I feel like you're feeling really worn down. You, I, self sabotage, self destructive energy is what I'm getting here. Okay, I'm going to be clarifying that with the runes, but there's something here where you're like, my goodness, I cannot deal with this anymore. I can't go on like this, not like this. So I feel like there's something else that you're going to be doing here. Okay, you got the three of wands in reverse for what your intuition is trying to tell you. Okay, they don't want you to send something out here. Um,. There's a message that they don't want you to send. We'll, we'll figure out what that is. I think you already know this because you have the Page of Pentacles in reverse for your communication. Okay, so they're wanting you to back out of something here. All right. What's Aries creating here? It's their fire energy. What are they creating? Five of Swords. 
What are they destroying here? The High Priestess in reverse. Destroying the illusion, okay? Destroying the illusion, the fantasy. Um, whatever was behind the curtain here, you're like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not digging behind the curtain anymore. Um, for creation, you have the Five of Swords, all right? So I feel like there's something here where you're creating a victory for yourself. Um, because you're realizing that you're sabotaging yourself in a situation. Like you're driving yourself crazy with something that you're thinking about here or something that you're uh, dealing with mentally. Like you're driving yourself crazy. Uh, it's taking your focus off of the good things here. So I feel like you're choosing not to deal with something here because simply because it doesn't make sense to you for one and because it's just causing a lot of conflict while you're trying to make sense of it and you know that it should be easier. That's what your intuition is telling you with the three of wands. Like this is not the future you want. Like look at it. If it's this hard right now, then imagine what it's going to be like later, you know because a lot of you I feel like this is the beginning stages of a connection it feels really powerful to you uh, at this point in time but it's just because you're trying to pull somebody in here who's pulling away so we're going to um, get the runes out how about that devil Uru's strength endurance survival a gateway yeah you're, you're stepping out of something here like you're no longer in alignment with this person or with this habit, whatever this was, okay? Um, yeah, you're protecting yourself. Some of you are definitely putting um, up a blockage here, okay? You're blocking someone out or you're staying away from people who are tempting you to indulge in this behavior here, okay? Um, you have this rune right here of communication, travel. You've got this one of fertility. It, it's like there's something here, Aries, that you're having to cut out because... Um, with, with what you want, with what you want in the future, like this is not in alignment with it, okay? So I think you're realizing that, um, you know, if you continue to engage in this, if you continue to entertain this person, um, you're, you're not going to have what it is that you're wanting. That's a rune of fertility. You, you realize I can have that, but maybe not here, you know? What's going on with the Four of Swords? Okay, you have this rune right here, which represents comfort and joy and happiness. You have this rune here that represents the tree of life, okay? So I do feel like you're going to be recycling your energy. Like I said, just pouring from one area and into another. It's like um, whatever this is here that you're, that you're closing out, I feel like you're taking up that time and space and energy with something better, something that's giving back to you, so I like that. How about that Knight of Wands reversed and the Five of Pentacles reversed? Um, something's coming out here. Something that was hidden is going to be coming to the surface here. Or something that you didn't... Um, like there's something here that you weren't really aware of. Your, your relationship with money could be changing or with stability could be changing. Um, or the way that you see yourself in terms of capabilities. Like that could be changing as well. You have Arcana. So I feel like this is the birth of a new idea here. Okay. What's going on with the death card? What's this destructive energy about? Othala. Okay, that's something that you have, uh, the, it's inheritance, okay? Uh, so this could have something to do with inheritance, but it's showing up in your um, in, in your emotions, excuse me, um, with the death card here. So it could actually be a physical uh, inheritance here. It could be something spiritual, all right, a gift of some sort. But I do feel like mainly this is you wanting to destroy something that you've carried with you for a long time, whether this is a bad habit, a perspective, um, a way of dealing with people, a way of... Um, you know, seeing relationships, seeing money. It could be something like that because you do have failure, which is a rune of wealth, okay? Wealth can mean anything, by the way. It's like you're realizing that you have a lot. You you have a lot. And you're inviting an energy in here that's um, either... Either it's causing you to lose these things or it's causing you to not see the value in them. So you're cutting this energy out here. Yep, Yara showing right up over top the three of wands in reverse for what your intuition is trying to tell you. That talks about cycles, consequences, results, endings, new beginnings. Um, and then you have this rune here which represents God, the ancestors, you know. Uh, that's what they're sending in here to you. It's coming in very strongly. Uh, what about this five of swords? You got Gabo, a gift, okay, a victory here. There's growth, there's development. You got Lagos, a water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they're wanting you to just completely cleanse yourself, like shed yourself with this energy, especially those of you who have not been dealing with it that, this, that long and it's already very toxic, okay? I'm getting like a month, two months you've been dealing with this here. We got this blank rune showing up over top of the high priestess, okay? So something was unknown here, something was hidden. Somebody might have had a hidden agenda here uh, in dealing with you, Aries. Um, and this doesn't even have to mean that it's a romantic partner here, but I feel like somebody's re really had a plan to take advantage of you in some way, shape, or form. You've got Algies here, so yeah, definitely wanting you to protect yourself in this situation. I think that you're destroying this illusion. Some of you, you may have uh, jumped into something really quickly, you know? Um, somebody just seemed really too good to be true and I think that that was that, that was exactly the case so that's what you're destroying here is this illusion all right so that's what I'm seeing for you Aries if you'd like you can watch out for your other signs okay um, you could also book a personal or check me out on patreon but if this is where we part thank you for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your week bye